I'm gonna go now, Mr. Crab. Are you ready now, Mr. Crab? All right, so clearly Cal is busy. So. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stack. Welcome back. If you've been here before, my name is actually Calvin Trigger. This is Chris. This is Aiden. And this is Foley. And we are going to play Magic the Gathering, believe it or not. I keep trying to convince him to play Digimon with him. Have you finished? <laughs> Dude, would you hurry up and chew? I, I wasn't trying to just inhale it. Inhale that. Geez, Louise, we're playing Magic. Look at this. It's a pot. It's a pot of green, 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 and that. <laughs> yeah. green, green, green. Uh, some muscle, some protein. This is mostly stuff that's pulled out of our boxes and collections to build new decks, yeah. basically. Is it budget? Is it not? It's I don't know. probably close to budget. We try to keep it budget, but probably not exact, you know, 125 like we normally do. Yeah, this one's probably a little bit over, but like... Uh, it's lower power. power. None of us have uh, Rhystic Studies, Aquanic Rift, Dockside Extortionist, stuff like that. Oh yeah, I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap. After that, I don't, I don't know what I have. Speaking of a deck that is a little different from what I just described, it's actually you. You're playing yeah. the new guy right now. I'm playing the new Rakdos. The new Rakdos is Flample, and then it says whenever you sacrifice another creature, exile from the top of target player's library equal that creature's mana value. And when I first started building this deck, I was like, oh cool, you can steal other people's stuff. And then I saw target player and I was like, oh, I got it. So I'm gonna have to exile from the top of my library and cosplay as Prosper. But we're gonna try and get there. It's until your next end step. So if you start going off on, on your, your turn, turn, you have to, yes. You're an aristocrat deck that has Prosper's game plan. But if you go off on say Chris's turn, you have it until the end of your next turn. So <clears throat> And you got most of He that. himself and also can sacrifice the creature to give himself indestructible once turn. So like that, he himself is like kind of a sacrifice outlet once a turn. I will probably only, I probably won't really need it. He can protect himself. Yes, yeah. He's also a flying five mana. He's also a flample six. Oh, five. by the way. Yeah, yeah by the way. <laughs> by the way, we're, we're, so we're going to Dude's big. Yeah, sometimes you just hit them over the head with a big idiot. But anyway, speaking of hitting people over the head with a big idiot. Hey. Um, so uh, we're playing first. Total Art Dire Overlord. Whenever a wolf or a werewolf hits a player, I draw a card which is nice. And at the beginning of my upkeep, if I control three or more wolves and or werewolves, it becomes nighttime and I transform all human werewolves I control. And it has daybound. So daybound and nightbound mechanics, the way they work is whenever a card with daybound enters, hey, it's daytime. And what daytime means is during a player's turn, if that player does not cast a spell, it becomes nighttime on the next turn. So let's say I don't cast a spell and it becomes nighttime. Well now, all our, all of our dudes that have daybound now become nights. So they switch over into their furry forms. This is when the furries come out. And then you gotta pull out all your cards out of your sleeve. Yeah, you don't have you don't have to do that. You could play all the uh, all the the cards that do the the that uh, you can put in place of flip cards, or you can just have two of every card. But yeah, so when it becomes night, all the dudes flip over, they become stronger, and whenever a player casts two or more spells when it's during their own turn, then it becomes daytime. Uh, unfortunately, because of the way that they worded Daybound and Nightbound, they do not work with the old werewolves. Each of the old uh, werewolves from Innistrad track individually based off the card, not off of a centralizing mechanic. But However, Tovalar does unite them because at the upkeep, he can transform all of them. So he, in a way, can sort of kind of fixes the problem. Very loosely. It sounds like if you're going to play werewolves, Tovalar is the guy you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just going to play Tovalar because there's really no other reason to play any other werewolf commander. He draws your cards. He flips over. Is there other options? There, there is. There's, no. there's, there's another legendary from uh, oh, the second time they came to. Yeah, Shadows Over Innistrad. It's like a five mana. He's a five mana dude, and when he enters, he gives a, a a creature plus four plus four, and then he flips over, and then he fights a dude. It's it's it's, it, it's a werewolf. Tovalar is the commander you play if like you decided I want to play werewolf. Speaking of mandatory commanders, if you want to play an archetype, shrines, right? Yo, you spoiled it. I'm playing shrines. Goshintai himself is a four mana three four. You can pay Wooberg, tap him, return target your enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And whenever Goshintai or another non-token shrine enters the battlefield under your control, create a one one colorless shrine enchantment. Shrines matter a lot. Your game plan is just. Playing value shrines. Yes. Put down enchantments, have value, accrue value on board, and then win some way. Cause shrines. Shrines. Cause shrines do it. Cause shrines. Yes. Because shrines. shrines. The segue is just playing value stuff. Anyways, uh, mom let me have three commanders today. I'm playing Nurdega, the Macro Sage. We're playing Sakashima Kodama. We're playing Simic. We're playing CMC three or up. And the idea is, I want to eventually buy Kurega into my hand, play Kodama, make another Kodama, and with that second Kodama, I can put down Kurega. Draw a bunch of cards, find a clone, put down the clone with the second Kodama trigger, right? And then the first Kodama triggers. Really? And like, I'm just gonna draw through my whole deck. 
So what you're telling me is that's very, very um, telegraphed. Oh, I, I, if you ever see these three, like uh, across from you, no matter what the power level, no matter what the budget, their game plan is to combo. Yeah. It is buy this, play this, play this, this guy triggers, start drawing shit, clone club. Draw through my whole deck and somehow, some way, there's a win condition. The two win conditions in this deck is one, I do play Jace, Wheeler of Mysteries. And then the other is the desert. And then there's a desert. There's a desert win in there. It's a little more convoluted. That's the one I hope to win with. Of course you do. The catch is I'm very mana inefficient. Because you have to play everything with CMC3 or above. So you have to play very convoluted ways to ramp. Yeah. And you can't really do anything until turn. I can't play Elvish Mystic. Right? You can play Elvish Mystic, but you can have things like Haro, Cultivate. There's, there's a, yeah, there's, there's, ways. there's tricks you can do. There's ways I can ramp up, but Azusa. I, I also can't play Heroic Intervention. I can't play Swan Song. I can't play Counterspell. Minor drawback, minor. <laughs> it's a serious deck constraint drawback. All right, anyway. We'll see. Any, anyways, you do your thing. Yeehaw. Are we? Yeehaw. Think about that. Hey. It's him. He's the winner. He's the one. He's going first. Yay. Hey, do you like tokens? The stack has made tokens in the past because I can't stop. Please help me out of this. An outlaw at Thunder Junction is no different. At the end of May, everybody who's a patron is getting shipped to them a mercenary token package filled with other gags and treats. These include things like Miss Anime Outlaw herself or Biden as the 4-2 plant for his new favorite Lands Matter commander. Everybody who is a patron already gets a bonus as a treat from me and us to you, but everybody else can still become a patron by May 25th, 2024 to get a taste of the goods themselves. After May 25th, all hands will be on deck for Modern Horizons 3, Return of Commander, and hopefully we've learned enough tricks to properly do one of those YouTube infinite giveaways but come get your dose of outlaw first before time runs out anyways back to the show untap upkeep and draw we're gonna start things off with a rocket theater no how much do i want to expose myself expose yourself i'm gonna bend gary no nice. oh, okay 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 go ahead untap okay <laughs> draw i'm not scared you are i'm gonna play the shadow skull smashing except actually it's Shattered Skull, the uh, the Hammer Pass, and I'm not going to pay through life, so I'm going to attack. Go ahead. I'm going to draw, uh, I'm going to play Yavamaya Cradle of Growth, because uh, I'm helping. And then I'm going to suspend Search for Tomorrow. That is very helpful, actually. Bop. And then go. All right. Uh, keep draw. Um, hmm. That Yavamaya changes my whole life. Wow. Imagine. Right? That actually helps me out a lot, too. I'm going to play Arcane Sanctum, I guess, and pass. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. We're going to play a Swamp, tap for two, and play a Rakdos Signet. Yep. Go. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play Olan, and then I will tap for three, two. <laughs> Math is hard, I promise. Uh, I'm going to play this Rampant Growth. I'm going to go find a basic. You're ramping. I'm going to go find... We're, we both ramp. Uh, Whoa. I'm going to go find a tap to Taiga now. Hey, hey, get it? I get, get it. it. It's a mountain. Uh, and I'll pass after I fail to shuffle my cards. Don't play very sweet. Don't shuffle. No, I, I, I pressed the button. You oh, pressed yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, they're not going to zoom it. in on you. <laughs> he's just going to find you? another camera to zoom in on me while I'm shuffling. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to reveal you publicly. Best. You're revealing you publicly? You're, you're gonna be so embarrassed. Oh my God. They're, they're gonna All the kids are gonna make fun of you. They're gonna make fun of me for, for shuffling so bad. Chris, the man shavers cannot shuffle. I can't shuffle with like a magic cards. Guys, it's hard. You'll see that cool though. Thank you. I got him from a friend. All right, I'm gonna untap, upkeep, search for tomorrow's like yo, and then I'm gonna draw. Uh, I am going to play an island, and then I am gonna go on an adventure. I'm gonna tail the suspect. I'm gonna play the new main character of Magic, Kellen, except the adventure side, uh, which I investigate, and then I may play an additional land this turn. Uh, Whoa. Remember that deck building constraint, guys? <laughs> Turns out there's a way to cheat. Dude, are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna play Kellen in a deck without the Kuriaga restriction? <laughs> Probably. Do you have another land? <laughs> Probably not. I do. Whoa. I do. I do, in fact, have this Simic growth chamber. Uh, and wouldn't it be so funny if I picked this up? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that? Okay, you're right. I'll just pick up the island. Whatever you want to do, man. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to pick up the album, buy it. I'm not. We, we know you're going to see it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pass. All right. Untap. 
draw. Uh, let's play Forest. Let's play Herald of the Pantheon. Oh boy. My enchantments cost one less play. Whenever I play enchantment, I gain a life. Okay. Uh, and that, uh, keep draw. Uh, play a mountain. He plays the mountain. Drop. He drops his card. Drop card. He picks it up. I pick it up. He I'm almost dropping. drops it again. I drop it again. Anxiety. <laughs> Alright. Tap for two. He taps for two. Nine still. Tap for two. Yo. Reassembling skeleton. Yeah. Tap for one. Yeah. The Ceres here. Yeah. Go. Okay. I see what's going on here. Untap. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna draw. Man, why couldn't that have been a land? <laughs> um I really need to draw a land there. Uh well we'll play this old wall captain. Sort of like a land. And then we'll pass. Uh, I'm gonna up tap, upkeep, search tomorrow's like yo yo, we go. I'm gonna ramping growth. Except better because it enters on tap. And I have an island in my hand, so here's a force. Whoa, give him this information. <laughs> Helen is not in play. He is not. He is currently fucking off right now. You need to put him in a He's on an adventure. There's an adventure though. Yeah, it's right here. We're gonna play an island as my land for turn, uh -huh. right? And then we are going to tap for whatever. Let's just say we tap away these guys. Uh -huh. I'm gonna play Sky Shroud Claim. I'm gonna search my library for two force and put them into play. Yeah. They enter play untapped. I'm gonna get two basic force, and then I'm gonna play what else? And then get another forest. And then I'll be another forest. So three forests in total. Three three forests in total. Uh, yeah. Are they all tapped? They, they the the first two come in untapped, and that's why I can yeah 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 yeah. And then the last one technically comes in can come in untapped, but it's gonna be a, a we're, tap. We're gonna get a tap lane. Reading. I could. You could also just grab the surveil land. Um. Oh, he does have that the maze. I could grab the surveil land that if there was be a bad idea. Uh, if it wasn't in my hand. Um, ha! Tangle Islet. We did it! Budget it's, breeding. So man. he's gonna be at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's doing great. And then on his turn, he can play a land to go to nine. Buy Karuga, play Kodama. He still has one more turn. Yeah. Okay, even if he does play, or even if, if he plays Kodama. You're doing great. Like, I, at present, have no plans of playing Kodama next turn, and I don't think the turn after. Okay. So, uh, you need more. You need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. Uh, He's charging. I'm a, I'm charging. He, the He's doing pretty good at charging. It's still only like charging up. I, I'm, I'm at two mana. Right. Look, come on. This is fine. This is fine. I'm helping you. I gave you green. Um, I'm just saying that deck building restriction. It. You might as well be playing Yarion. It's so easy. <laughs> Pass. Untap. Upkeep draw. What the hell is this? <laughs> Whoa. That's a cool card. It's shiny. <laughs> shiny card. I like shiny card. Uh play planes. Tap three. And we're gonna play Seder Enchanter. Uh combat Calvin takes two for me. Beep beep. Hey, 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 it only costs it costs one less, right? No, this is not an enchantment, sir. Oh, I thought that was enchantment. Reading the card explains the card. Uh, <laughs> Fast. Like, all right. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Reading cards. Explain the card. Draw. <laughs> all right. Let's do that. Play a swamp. Let's tap this mind stone and play a soul ring. And then we need black, black, red. So these four cards here tap for five. Play Muscle is out. Wow. And uh, we're actually just going to pass the turn after that. Give us a quick flex, though. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, on tap. Upkeep. Uh, I'm going to draw. Man, it really sucks that I would never draw lands. So we're going to tap for four, and we're just going to play this Door of Destiny. I'm going to name Werewolf. Okay. That's it. All right. Oh, that's rough. He's playing Destiny. I mean. uh, no, no, it's not happening. Untap, upkeep. Uh, draw. Uh, that's cool. We are going to 
I'm gonna tap for three. And I'm gonna play Nisa Vastwood Seer. Mm. That's uh, not the new one, but it's not the new one. Good. I'm gonna do this thing where I search my library for a forest again. Wow. Alright. I'm gonna add it to my hand. Uh and then if I play a land and it's the seventh land or more, Nisa will flip. Whoa. Flip so, out. She just can't take it. She can't take it? She can't take the heat? Can't take the forest. Okay. <clears throat> can't take the tree. Uh, too many trees. She getting a little lit. <laughs> I'm adding a basic forest to my fucking hand because I have to. But uh, I'm I'm not playing that as land for turn. Here is Hedge Mage. Oh, it's the surveil. It's the surveil land. Hedge Maze. Yeah. Hedge, hedge your bets. Hedge my bets. Uh, there's a bunch of triggers that happen. Any responses, Mister Two Untapped? No. <laughs> cool. Wait. You can kill the Nisa. Can I? If you have a terminate. Oh, I see what you're saying. No. Uh, but I do. I am going to respond. I'm going to sack this to this here. Uh huh. Which is going to trigger Rakdos and then trigger Viserys here. Uh -huh. Or not trigger, I guess, but... You, you sacrifice one. Viserys here, trigger Rakdos, you do the thing. I'm going to scry one. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> well, no. Well, no. You, uh, this goes off first. Why? Sacrifice Viserys here. Put scry one on the stack. Trigger Rakdos. I see. So this is going to happen anyway. Uh, these two are exiled until my next turn. Your niece is dead anyway. No, this is your surveil. No, no, I see. That, that was, that was man value two. So I I'm gonna go on top two. Now scry. I'm gonna scry to the top. And I'm gonna be completely real with you. I was planning on just re like re reassemble my skeleton and do it again, but I got to terminate. Might as well. Might as well. Terminate Nisa. Whee! Fuck you. The blood for the blood god is exiled until my next ten step. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I hear blood for the blood god, and I'm like, no more blood, please. I honestly probably won't be able to play it next turn. It's really good if you can, though. But it's 11 mana. 7, 8. Unless I kill a bunch of creatures, which, like... This will cost one less to cast for each creature that died this turn. I mean, you for one thing, you can sacrifice a creature with Rakdos. Yeah. But anyway, you may continue. Wah! Nisa! I still get the hedge maze. I was really not planning on that. It was perfect. I'll keep it on top. My last trick, since we have no Nisa to do more things with, I'm gonna tap for five, and I'm gonna play Make Your Own Luck. Ooh, oh, that's I a good love one. I like, yeah. When I look at the top three cards in my library, I can exile one non-land card face up, and it's plotted, and then I'll draw the rest. Okay. Or I guess I put the rest in my hand. I don't actually draw. Uh, which is important sometimes. Plots yeah. any card for you. Yep. So we're going to plot Quan. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> for what it's worth. That's actually really good for you. For what it's worth, the, the clone in the exile, I can cast it for free, but I can't cheat it into play. I have It's it's a sorcery step thing. So. Sure, but it's still pretty good for you. It saves you some mana. It saves me something. Uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, make your looks in the bin. Klon is uh, hanging out with Kellen right now, I guess. Uh, He's just talking to himself. Yeah. And then we're going to pass. Okay. Untap. Upkeep nothing. Draw. Okay. We're going to play a Mountain Valley tapped. And then we're going to spend three mana because he costs one less. Play a Goshen tie. Trigger. Trigger. I gain one. I draw a card. PETBs. I make a 1 1. You got some new 1 1s for me? Uh, no, you, you, you use those ones, I guess. Because okay. they're shrines. I need to make shrine tokens. These are shrines? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a shrine, alright. Um, And then from there, Calvin. Don't touch me. Combat. Four. Uh. Um. Pass the turn. All right. Untap. Up. Keep. Draw. 
play a command tower. Tap for four. Pity this plunderer. Hey. Uh, tap for two. I'm going to reassemble my skeleton. Yeah. Um. What's up? It's just pay two, bring him back. Pay two, return him from the graveyard to battlefield tap. Okay. Um, I have this here six five flying. Um, I don't know if it actually makes a lot of sense to attack. Why? Probably. I mean, Maybe. I don't really win through combat damage. Bro, it's free though. And he's a six five. <laughs> he six, is large. Five. Might as well. Lamb pull. Make use of that muscle. And I'll call him the muscle for nothing. You're not really being threatened on board right now, so you might as well just hit someone in the face. Yeah, but ooh, you're, Calvin's being bullied a little bit. Oh, no. Calvin, be bullied a little bit. Don't more. bully. Don't bully. Bullying's mean. Kill him. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Well, when you don't have an interact uh, way to interact with a combo, you just remove the player. True. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. Hey, we drew oh, a land. He goes into exile. Can't believe it, guys. You drew a land? Prince is in the game. Unfortunately, <laughs> Anders taps. Ha! Get dunked. Um. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll tap for two. We'll play a crashing drawbridge. Then we'll tap for two, and we'll play this werewolf pack leader. Hey, oh, it is a werewolf. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's a good cool. one. All my werewolves get plus one, plus one, and then I'll pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice Skeleton to Cerseer. We got Ornithopter and Sadrobot. And then Scry one. Um, we'll Scry to the bottom. And then I'll make a treasure. Yep. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm scared. On that. Upkeep. Draw. Um... Bingo, bango, bongo. I am so happy in this Congo. Are you now? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in danger. Combo looks a little wet. Or Congo. Okay. <laughs> um. Combo, Congo. Combo, combo. Wombo, combo. Combo. Happy feet. Uh. That ain't Falgo? <laughs> Am I Congo? <laughs> Do you need to go in the tank, sir? We're gonna play Lit Jara Mirror Lake. Cat. It's lit! Lit Jar! At Sorcery for five and sacking it. For five others and tap the sack it. Cool. I can create a token co token copy of a creature I control. I don't like that. It's very slow. Um You know what else? But you know what you're actually not gonna like? No oh, boy. Uh here comes uh, the green board wipe. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. I do play too. Makes sense. We're gonna tap for. Basing himself here is a board wipe. Four for four, including two blue. We're gonna cast clever impersonator. No. You know what this is? Arachdos. No. Um. Yeah. No, that's fine. You could. <laughs> you know who that clone is also oh, Arachdos. Wait. That'd be funny. Oh no, that would be hilarious. Oh. You have a flample. Nah. It's just for you needed to hire some muscle protection. Yeah, yeah, I did. It's a bodyguard. Anyway, here's clone. I'm gonna cast clone. Ooh, okay. Doing it now, huh? Yeah, spilling your beans. Copy now. of is it, clone is on the stack. I, I would like to return my skeleton to the battlefield. Skeleton is returned. I would like to sacrifice my uh, skeleton. That poor here. skeleton being abused. Uh, we got Animate Dead and Vile and Doomer. Uh, and then I'm going to scrap one. Those are two pretty good cards to rip off the top. And, yeah. you know, and, and then Doom and an Animate Dead. Yeah, and there is a Gary in a graveyard. Things are about to get nasty. Yeah? Um, You got it. This is a Pitiless Plunder. I get it. That. Um... Calvin's over here like, yo, I like your board. What if I was my board too? <laughs> I'm you now. I'm a Rakdos. Get your own board state. <laughs> e e now all I need is another clone to make a Viserys here. And now he has my combo. Yep. Uh, we're going to pass the turn from there. 
I see why you like green blue. Because it can just pretend to be, you know, <laughs> Rakdos Mardu. <laughs> Untap. Draw. What do you do? Don't care about that. Okay. Um. Well, first, this is going to sacrifice itself to look for a mountain. Yep. You can find a cinder glade. I could. The answer's on top. You right. Are you trolling me, though? Is there a cinder glade in there? They should all be in there. That deck is playing the mana base from the five color planeswalker precon that came out with Dominaria. The painbow? Yeah, painbow. I'm trying to figure out. I don't even know what I want to do with this tumor. Is that the good thing? I didn't reanimate it. So you put War Forger <laughs> in your graveyard, and then you cast Animate Dead. And then you proceed to extend your arm for a handshake as you tell everybody that they're dead. <laughs> That's what you do. Here's infinite mana. Have, I'll figure it out. <laughs> You're dead somehow. What was the card? Sorry, I didn't hear World World Order Dragon. Okay, yeah. yeah. Though, you have to, World Order Dragon is also a really risky line. Yeah. Because that's one of the ones where if someone interacts with you in the middle of it, and you lose dead. everything. Yeah. Um, it's all or nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. My favorite way of stopping that combo was a uh, nibble obstruction of cycling to counter the exit yeah. trigger. Yeah. So they wouldn't get everything back. All right, here we go, y'all. All right. Uh, we're going to tap a forest. We're going to play Sanctum Weaver. Trigger, gain a life draw card. Okay, um, then we will spend three mana and cast Goshintai of Hidden Cruelty. That's going to trigger Goshintai. Make a shrine. Make a shrine. From there, everybody's got muscle now, so we're just going to uh, pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to use a treasure to bring back the skeleton, and then we're going to second the Skeleton here. Get that treasure back. Rakdos is like two. Two is gonna be two lands. And then scry one. To the bottom. Alright. Oh, untapped. <laughs> one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. Thirteen. Right, draw. Oh. Uh, we're going to play a Tainted Peak, because mm -hmm. it is uh, what I need. The Mountain, I cannot play this turn, so this is going to go to Exile. And, um, I mean, it's there. I'm just going to cast it and see what happens. Um, I need two black. So, let's leave the Tainted Peak and the Mind Stone. Oh my god. Take your time, Foley. <laughs> okay. Here, let's do this. I'm going to tap for four and play the Violin Tumor. And I go search for something to put in my graveyard. I'm going to bin Micaeus. Yep. Um, so I'm going to then animate dead targeting Micaeus. I have a response. You do have a response. Um, I'm going to use my Rakdos here. Uh, <laughs> to attack my <laughs> You don't have to tap him. He no, can, you do. It does tap. It, it, it oh, does really? tap it, yeah. Okay, I didn't know. My bad. Uh, when, when I sacrifice, uh, Pity this Plunger is like, yo. And... Oh, shit. Do I target him or do I target me? Are you are you trying to find a response or are you trying to stop a combo? If you're trying to find a response, you probably target yourself. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. the best, the best I, that I've got... I'm going to target, my, target myself. One, a two, a three. Well, that sucks. Well, you can have another Rakdos if you so choose. Um, uh-huh. Yep. Uh, oh, sorry. I guess I kind of see Kellen. I didn't realize. Oh, wait, no. You already cast the Adventure side. Yeah. yeah. That was good. That was good. All uh, right. That helps uh, me zero. So, Do you uh, have anything else? Mm... Nope. Do you? Proceed to kill us, please. Okay. So I'm going to reanimate Mikhaeus. In my hand, which I have enough mana for. Oh, wait, I guess I have those treasures. I'm going to cast Ruthless Technomancer. Yeah. So I'm going to sacrifice Violent Tumor. Yeah. Um, but it's going to come back with a 1 1 counter because of the chaos. Yep. I'm going to get two treasures from this and then one treasure from the Pitiless. I'm Is also. This a lord? What? No, it's not a lord. 
So you have now four treasures? Four treasures. Well, uh, no, he is a lord. Uh, other oh, not, 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 he's not a human. He's a, he's a, so he, he's a three, three when he dies. Oh yeah. So you get three treasures. Plus one from, plus one from this, you get four. So three. I get four more treasures. So you have five treasures. You're at five treasures now. Just wait. wait. You're at five. I'm getting five from this, right? I had two. You had two, you're getting three from the sack. And then one from the Oh, plus. okay, I see, I see. And then one from the plus. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, one and then this has a one, one counter on it. Oh yeah, 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 bro. Can I get a one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to dash one more. I'm gonna exile yeah. top four. Yep. Uh, Deadly Dispute, Incarnation Technique, oh. Temple, Malice, and Armor. I think the Incarnation Technique does it. Probably. Although I do need to be careful on who I target with that. You can probably target the Werewolf deck. Or, True. Or, well, 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 werewolf, real talk, yeah, real yeah. talk, like what Werewolf am I gonna summon is gonna kill you immediately. True. <laughs> I think the okay. only thing I could possibly yeah. make... Yeah. The second Violent Tumor Trigger, I'm going to grab Mayhem Devil. Yeah. Um. Now I am going to sacrifice five treasures. Yeah. And I'm going to incarnate incarnation technique. Well, you should demonstrate. I'm targeting, or I'm demonstrating the world. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five. Hey, I got a Master of the Wild Hunt. He's pretty neat. That's good. Uh, he he ain't a werewolf, and and uh, he doesn't do anything. All right. He's got wolves Apparently. in the art, though. He does have wolf, wolves wolves in the art. I'm gonna go to mine. I'm gonna get Puppeteer Click, Swamp, Rakdos, Jab Green. Okay. We got some cool creatures, but we're just going to grab Mayhem Devil with the first one, and then we're gonna go one, two, three. Or oh, Junji does it even five. better. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can bring Junji back into your sacrifice. Oh my! Yeah, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna come back. get Junji because he's not a. Oh, we're so fucking. Um, <laughs> good night. <laughs> we're dead five different ways. Yes, is the big problem. <laughs> the, the the joke is I'm gonna sacrifice Junji to the Seraseer. When Junji dies, I'm gonna return target non dragon I control to by the battlefield. I'm gonna also exile top five, and then I'm also going to My brain get a biggest treasure. <laughs> I'm also gonna scry one, I'm also gonna bring back Gary. Gary's gonna do his thing. I can sacrifice Gary to Viserys here. Also, Mayhem Devil says, yo, every time I sacrifice a permanent. And that's not to mention you that I still have the skeleton, skeleton back. And just exile top of your libraries. Well, I mean, well, Gary coming back twice to us 24 damage to us off rip. Off and then I, yeah. The important part is Gary says loss of life, Mayhem Devil says damage, and that skeleton says nil. So anyway, so like, we, but this is infinite, right? Yeah. Well, no, we're dead as fuck, dude. dude so. I'm pretty sure it's just he can, actual fucking infinite. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, it's, he can, it's a pick your poison. Do yeah, you want to be mill? Do you want to be? He can he can sack the fucking ruthless technomancer, right? And, and then, then sack the, the no, Junji. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And reanimate the, the ruthless technomancer. Then he gets a bunch of fucking treasures. But then, right? and then the Junji comes back. And Meanwhile, I'm gonna exile top of my. I'm gonna exile from my library. Okay. You yeah. you win. You win the <laughs> we dead. game and the worth for. <laughs> you're dead fifty ways to one. <laughs> we're dead six ways to Sunday. Yeah. I mean, that was, those were some hot exiles. Yeah, Brack those. Yeah, though. it's fucking three. We're dead three different ways, and because of Ruthless Technomancer right there, he has protection. Did you guys know? Ruthless Technomancer. Hell of a good magic card. <laughs> Did you guys know Rakdos? Hell of a it's good card. Those are some hot exiles off Rakdos. Yeah. Like, like getting literally me... anime dead and violin tumor. Right. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you. You want yeah. to have your cake and eat it too? And then you hit anchor and hit technique. I'm like, oh, we're so. We're just. We're just dead. And then you saw. And then the Machaeus. And then just, Yeah. What I like about this deck is you get to play like. Creature mana rocks, so you could sack it to Rakdos. Yeah, after, after you ramped them out. 